what, uh, what we showed you in test number one was we showed you a conventional generator uh, which produces back EMF into the air gap between the magnet and the generator coil. And we showed you how the system slowed down under load. Uh, we also showed you by magnetically coupling the generator to the induction motor. We showed you how we could harness coil generator back EMF and increase the speed of our system. Now what I'm going to show you is I removed the, uh, the steel bar between the induction motor and the generator. And what I'm going to show you in this test is how uh, we can eliminate completely back EMF in the air gap and we can uh, eliminate completely the effects of Lenz's law on a generator. Uh, I've turned the rotor around so the magnets are now facing this uh, toroid here and what happens in this scenario is the rotor flux enters the toroid here it splits, it en enters coil number one and coil number two, follows back through here, rejoins in this area here, continues, rejoins uh, the rotor via the drive shaft and completes the magnetic circuit this way. The generator back EMF uh, does not enter the air gap. What happens is coil number one's back EMF enters coil number two, coil number two's back EMF enters coil number one, and none of it enters the air gap, and when I short out the coils, when I introduce the maximum amount of back EMF uh, possible for these coils, you will notice that the system speed will be completely unaffected. So I'm going to uh, start the system now. And the system is running. If we move over here, uh, coil number one is producing 39 volts. Coil number two is producing six volts. Our speed is about 40, 43 RPM, 41 RPM. I'm going to short out the coils now. Keep an eye on the system speed. As we noticed in test number one, it decreased radically. We're at 48, 49, 50 RPM, shorting out the coils, no effect, disconnect the coils, no effect, coil number one at this point is producing 54 volts, coil number two is producing 7 volts. Our steady state no load speed is approximately 50 RPM. And again, shorting out the coils has absolutely no effect. No back EMF in the air gap, no deceleration according to Lenz's law, and no acceleration. Thank you for taking the time to uh, watch this demo video of the Potential Difference Peripatia Generator. Uh, as a quick final recap, what we saw in test number one was a conventional system where speed of the prime mover decreased under load. Test number two, we saw uh, a magnetically coupled uh, generator to a um, induction motor and we, what we saw was the speed increase as the generator was put under load uh, and test number three what we saw was our toroid operating at uh, no load speed and this and what we showed was the speed was unaffected the speed of the system was unaffected as we uh, loaded or unloaded 
the generator. Thank you very much.